fucking ain't doing this mission. I am, I am not doing this shit. Damn it. going everybody I am Husky Skills bringing you a new episode of creepy but true DB. I just can't make it creepy at all this intro no matter how many times I try it I just can't make it creepy and yes do try to ignore the glare you know I've been trying to fix this a little bit but you know hopefully I will one day find a good studio standpoint where I could be able to make good airy areas to make episodes like this but right now, let's just go ahead and stay lighthearted and funny and sometimes cringy. Very cringy. So a couple videos back, I did cover a video game series that was not well researched, but really had this fan base. It had its potential and just wasn't fully delivered. I am talking about Watch Dogs. Say what you want about this game series, or this game in general. It had its moments. No, I actually fully enjoyed this game to a point. I actually bought it three times. Once on the PS3, second time on the Wii U, and of course the third time on PS4. And I think it's staying on this. Back on Watch Dogs when we went into sh Chicago, almost in a different other city. But we checked out Chicago, we found some creepy dead bars left by a, a serial killer. And we also invaded privacy of some homes Left by CTOS, thanks to DeadSec, we were able to find some dark secrets of people, as well as some very bizarre and very unsettling glitches. But of course, that was all I could really be able to find, unless there's more to be found that has not yet been discovered of Watch Dogs. It's time to move on to its sequel. Watch Dogs 2. Out of Chicago and into San Francisco, this is Watch Dogs 2, and you know what? I knew something was going to happen in this game. I just had that feeling. So much of a feeling that I actually teased this episode before this stinking game even came out. And knowing Ubisoft, they're not really ones who actually knows how to leave some creepy bits in their video games, especially in the first Watch Dogs. Even though they were actually meant to be slapped on your face, it had those moments. Now, Watch Dogs 2 does go a little more beyond than that. You actually had to look for some of this stuff. Now I do want to let some of you know that this game right here, I am still actually looking in more into it. So there might be more possible upcoming videos for Watch Dogs 2. But I've found enough in this game to actually make an episode for this. So what are the stuff that I found in San Francisco in the world of Watch Dogs 2? To be in creepy picture gaming. What is it in this game that deserves the spot? Well... Go ahead and get your popcorns ready, grab your girlfriends, boyfriends, Godzillas, and Yoshis! We're going to go right into the hacking world of Watch Dogs 2. Let's see what's in store. Watch Dogs 2 is a big world. It's a pretty good recreation of San Francisco. And like any other open world game, it leaves you the choice to explore. And this gives developers a good chance to hide some hidden secrets. One of my personal favorite of secrets? Well, it should be obvious. In Watch Dogs 2, just beyond the Golden Gate Bridge, there is a forest area. Inside it, it's a relaxing area. The trees sing along the wind, the grass and plants are in a nice green, and the isolation gives a nice feel of the outside world. When you dig deeper in these woods, 
you'll come across something interesting. Firstly, you will encounter a bus. Just an abandoned bus. It can be common to find abandoned cars in the woods, but what's the reason for this one? It looks like it's been there for a little while too. But maybe I'm thinking too deep about this. If this was the only thing found. Just a little ways of the bus, you will encounter a lone toilet between two tricycles. But if you look closely, the toilet looks like it's been covered in something. Is it blood? And I know there is some poo on the toilet, but that can easily have been in animals. Keep searching the woods, you'll see in an abandoned campfire with leftover items. A guitar, a bag of weed, and a bottle of alcohol. Interesting thing is, when you go to any campsite or anywhere that has sign of life, NPCs do attend to show up. But not for this case. It's always empty. And a little down the trail of this campfire are two lonely tents. And again, no matter the time of day, no sight of anybody is around. Where did these people go? And no, this isn't just a campground that is strange. On the other direction of the woods, you will encounter a little house, a village filled with gardens and other stuff. But again, no matter the time of day, no life is sighted anywhere. Can all this be connected? Where did these people go? Is there a monster hiding among these woods? Maybe a ghost is taking souls away from the living. It's very unclear, and I doubt these were put here just for the hell of it. There is another part in San Francisco that is pretty mysterious. In the middle of San Francisco, there is a nearby pawn shop to get to this place quicker. Walk a block away and you'll find it. The video will show enough of the location. There is a nearby cart you can hack to get on top of this building, or you just use your droid. And what you will see is very disturbing in such a random spot. And there we have it, that was what I was able to find so far And Watch Dogs 2. What do you think of the theory? What do you think of these creepy things that were found? Do you think there's more to it? Do you think there's more behind these Easter eggs than what's being led on to be right now? Well, it's up to us to figure it out. But of course, it was pretty creepy and all, all, and all I meant is pretty off. I can't even say things right right now. Got to admit, for a game like Watch Dogs 2, catching some of this stuff is pretty bizarre and it could actually put a chill up your spine if you hit it in just the right amount of time of the day, which is like midnight and dark in that game. One's raining and then play sirens are in the background and what the heck. But of course, if you like this episode, guys, well, you know the drill. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.